the marine and coastal ecosystems are very important to Belize's um, economy and national development. They support um, a lot of our primary industries um, as well as providing the ecosystem services that support our population. The coastal resources are threatened by a combination of rising sea temperatures as well as the pollution. A trend of increasing strengths in storms is just one of them. Could be the size of our entire stretch of the reef and could create quite a lot of damage. So uh, addressing these threats I think are for of uh, paramount importance to us. The, the, the change in temperatures uh, have been um, dramatic in 2019 with a 4 degree change. The first, first day I remember going out uh, planting corals, it blew me away, honestly. It was very incredible to see that we can actually plant back these corals. Belize has been pioneering in, in changing its legislation to ensure that there is high protection for mangroves. So the mangrove ecosystem is very important to both the tourism and fish, the nexus of economic and ecosystem resilience. I'm a ranger at the Turnip Atoll Sustainability Association. Here we import all fisheries and marine regulations. What we do whilst on patrol, right, we have different zones on the atoll that we have to keep our eye on. Some areas are restricted to fishers to harvest a certain types of marine animals, trying to protect all wildlife. We wanted the fishers to understand that if they can diversify their livelihood by doing another activity that will supplement their income, they will not have to rely solely on fishing. Diversify through skills training by providing a training to the households, to the fishers, as his daughter or his wife, through skills training is also making an income. We have experienced that uh, fish is getting extinct. We are doing commercial fishing, but we want to uh, try to see if we can make another way of livelihood, like in providing tours to show tourists additional fishing. And I see the collaboration and the enthusiasm of the villagers. This is why I think this is a, a good opportunity for an alternative way of livelihood for the village villagers. We just catch like couple just for them to eat and, and and we are able with this training that we are getting from, from MCAP to express ourselves better. O se les invitó a, a familias que ya se están alejando de la pesca para así menorar la cantidad de pescadores en, en Sarteneja, dar alo alojamiento en tu propia casa, iniciar tu propio negocio. En tu... Se organizó de puras mujeres. Tuvimos que ir bajo varios entrenamientos, como hospitalidad, eh, higiene, el inglés. La mayoría de, de señoras no podían hablar inglés y ahora sí ya pueden, o sea, se sienten más confiadas. Important for us to be able to provide um, diversified opportunities for our, our growing population to not just depend on fishing because at this point it's a vulnerable industry, um, especially when you talk about the tourism industry, that's even more vulnerable. There's so many features out there in the sea today. So an alternative livelihood at this one, it, it helps to, to relieve the pressure out there. At the same time, they, they, they have an, an, another source of income. When we start working along with MCAP, they, we got them to, to come and build the cover structures. So we are growing sweet peppers. The sweet peppers, the, what you see here, cabbage and the, and the habanero peppers. Everything organic. We are proud of having the, 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 this cover structure with these plants here. Uh-huh.
overfishing is becoming a problem in Belize. Uh, one of the solution is basically uh, to teach their daughters, their sons, to become more involved in agriculture. In all my years of work, I've never seen a project of this size be so effective and efficient at many things. I mean, what this project has done is infuse climate change into the, into the syllabus. So that has been a great achievement. I'm also a member of the environmental club here at my school. Well, our main aim on our club is to create a, an awareness or marine ecosystem. My father is a fisherman. I would like to be a marine biologist. The project has been sustainable. It's to ensure that the marine environment, coast, um, and the related productive sectors are able to function in the future.